Hi, smileys. Come join me in the kitchen. Today we're gonna make chimichurri shrimp. First, you're gonna need a bunch of cilantro. I cut the top of the cilantro off with my chicken, with my kitchen, <laughs> with my kitchen shears, and I'm gonna rinse it. You'll need a handful of parsley, two cloves of garlic, and some extra virgin olive oil. Now my shrimp is curling defrosting. I took the shrimp right out the freezer. It's wild caught, peeled into vein shrimp. Put it in a bowl with some cool water and we're gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes or until it's completely thawed. And you wanna make sure that when you rinse your cilantro that you're using cool water. You don't want to cook those herbs with the water, so make sure that the water is cool. Meanwhile, I have a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, a couple of shakes of crushed red pepper. If you want a little bit more heat, go ahead and add more. And then I'm going to juice a half of a lime. You guys, I forgot to use my handy dandy juicer that my husband bought me. It's part of my Mother's Day package. Oh, look, isn't that oh, all that hard work I was doing? Thanks, hubby. Wow, that was so simple. And look at all the juice that came out. <sighs> okay, what else can I juice? Okay, now I've put my cilantro and parsley in the Vitamix or the blender or the food processor, whichever one you have. And I'm pouring in my olive oil. And remember my garlic, two garlic cloves are in there as well. I feel like this is a little blurry. Let me see how I can fix that. All right, turn the baby on and let her work. Look how beautiful she is. So you want her nice and green. And we're gonna set her aside and start working on our shrimp. Okay, so you know that you could have added salt to your cilantro and garlic and olive oil while it was in the blender, but y'all know that I try to limit my amount of salt. So if you wanted to add a couple of pinches of salt, you could have done that. Here is where I'm going to add my salt. Of course, it's going to be low sodium seasoning salt. So I'm going to sprinkle that on the shrimp. Just a couple of shakes. And I'm also going to sprinkle a couple of shakes of black pepper. And then I'm going to pour half of that chimichurri on the shrimp and let it marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, shrimp is also a salty shellfish, so you're going to get some of the salt from the shrimp. And here at this point, if you want a little bit more heat, of course you don't want to taste it because it's raw shrimp. But if you're thinking, mm, I don't see enough red pepper flakes, then you can add some more at this point too. And while this is sitting, we'll go ahead and put on our wild rice. Now I have some wild rice cooking over here. This dish would probably go better with brown rice or white rice with a little bit of lime. Um, we're trying not to eat too many grains in the, the house, and wild rice is a better grain, um, easier to digest. So we're going to do wild rice tonight. Um, what I did was a cup of wild rice with one and three-fourths cups of water, put it on the stove, bring it to a boil. Once it gets to a boil, put the, the cap on it, turn it down low, and let it simmer for 45 minutes. Okay, our rice is done, so I'm going to heat up our pan. I'm going to be generous with the olive oil because this is all quiet, extra virgin organic olive oil. Can you see that? It looks blurry to me. Okay, and our shrimp has marinated for about 20 minutes. Of course, the longer it marinates, the better. And while our pan heats up, I'm boiling some carrots and steaming some green beans. 
And I'm going to serve this with a nice bottle of Vino Verde. So I have to tell you how it tastes. This is a white wine, dry. You want to put it in the refrigerator before serving. You want it cool. And it's going to appear nicely with the shrimp. Shrimp, your seafood is going to go well with white wines. So, I um, mean, anything light, anything light filling in the body is going to go well with white wines. Your heavy stuff like steak and potatoes, you'll want that with red wine. But shrimp, tilapia, salmon, you're going to want a nice white wine. This vino verde is dry. And since this is a sort of Spanish dish, this is a Spanish wine, this will pair well together. But other white wines like Chardonnay, which are buttery and stuff like that, you'll want to eat those with pasta. Rather drink that with pasta. And here's the, the rice waiting. Okay, I'm about to test and see if this pan is hot. And it is, you hear that sizzle. Get a little bit of space in between the shrimp. No need to pour it all in. You don't want the oil to splatter. And then, of course, if you're not using an all clad, then you wouldn't have to use as much oil. You want to cook your shrimp till it turns pink. And you may be thinking, Danny, how am I going to do that when it's covered in green sauce? Well, you see this shrimp here? This hasn't turned pink yet, but this one is curling up. So that means you can flip it over. Oh, it's cooking. I'm going to taste a piece of that shrimp. Let me taste. Mmm. You guys. That is so good. That cilantro. Little hint of lemon. This would eat also taste very good over some pasta. Or in a shrimp taco. Oh, yes. So this is all done. We're going to pull it off the heat. You don't want to cook shrimp too long because you don't want it rubbery. So they've all curled up and hugged each other. So we're going to pull it off the heat. Set it to the side over here with the rice. Now I'm going to start plating. All right, here you have it. Shrimp chimichurri with a side of steamed green beans, boiled carrots, wild rice, and a nice glass of vino verde. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Rate this video a thumbs up. Tell me what you think. And I'll see you smileys next time. Bye. Love smiling Danny.